What's going on you guys? This is MXKDF with another Dell Optiplex 7040. This is the mini tower. Going to be upgrading the power supply for gaming. What I'll do is switch it to the other side. I'm going to zoom out the camera. What I'll do is uh, move the side cover panel. And you're going to slide it to the left. And before you do that, you have to remove the front cover basil. There's little clips gently on your finger like this. Lift them up. I'm going to slide this low hand right like this gently, lift this up. So the power supply in here guys is a 240 watt. So what I have to do is going to be upgrading to 315 watt. So first what I have to do is uh, I'll remove the three screws in the back. You're going to disconnect the CPU 4 pin for the power. And what you guys need to do is get a flathead screwdriver. And you guys little bent this right here and uh See what the wire in here? It's using the wire ties and you have to unclip them to remove the CPU 4 pin power cable. And the 8 pin is right here in the corner you have to remove. Right in the corner. And it's got a secure clip also. So you press on the secure clip before you remove it. Power supply should slide to the right. And there's another secure clip. In the bottom you have to press on it. And power supply should slide to the right. So I'll show you guys the other one. So this is the power supply I'm going to be upgrading. It's a lot more, a lot more powerful. It's 80 plus gold. It's a 315 watt. It's got a, basically the same wire harness in the back for the a pin it's the same and same with the cpu power four pin it's the same cable but the 315 watt has a uh, six pin power for the vd card so it's a lot better you guys show you closer the power supply you guys probably go online and get it i'll put in uh, my top comment description you guys will see this power supply model D315ES You can buy them used online, they sell them And I'm going to show you guys what you have to do is The way you're going to install it First would be the hard part is I'm going to switch to the other side like this And the only way you're going to install it is I'm going to zoom in It will be like going like, like in the side like this, that's the only way. Just like that, can you see? So what I did was, I'm going to take a Phillips screwdriver and Install one screw here that's already on it, and there's a this in the corner. And I have to drill another. So, what I did was I will drill another hole in 
using a drill bit. Oh, hold on, I'm just going to unscrew this again. It's kind of hard. So what I have to do is you have to drill a hole. One here in the corner and one in the bottom to make the power supply hold. So this is uh, the, the two holes are on it. So one I'm going to drill in here in the bottom and one in the top. So to keep it secure, I'm going to be using the, the Milwaukee drill bit set titanium so what I'll do is I'm using the the 764 and I'll have to put the change this out quickly So there's one hole you have to drill right here on the top and one on the bottom so I can put two more screws to secure the power supply because it's not stable because basically the connections in the back it's not the same how they, they made the holes here they're not the same so you cannot fit that one at 350 and perfectly fine like the other one so what I will do is I will drill one here in the top one on the bottom And what I will do is install the two more screws, one in the corner here. And be really careful once you install the screw uh, with the drill using the bill, make sure you just use a vacuum cleaner so that the bits doesn't go inside the power supply. Just use a vacuum clean it. And one here in the top corner. And it's gonna have a total of four screws in the back, so it should be really. That's the best I could do. So that's how the only way you can install this power supply. That's good enough, so it should be hold pretty well. It's not going to move anywhere. So the hard part is done. Now I have to install back the CPU. 4 pin for the power A pin corner you install it back and it's using the wire tie clippers so you're going to clip them back get a flathead screwdriver and you're going to bend it back And it's got a six pin for the CPU power. If you have a VD card, you can install. But if your VD card is using a uh, pin, then what you have to do is go buy a line from six pin to eight pin for the VD card. You can install two long VD cards. Let me see if I have a. So you could probably go like around not not too long. If you got a long VD card, it will not fit. So it should be like probably GTX 1060 with a single fan will fit fine in here. Should be perfectly fine, but if your video card is using uh, not a 6 pin but 8 pin, you can buy the cable line. They sell them. Perfectly fine. I'm gonna keep the clip this back in here, the last wire.
and she it's pretty it's pretty sturdy, it's pretty secure, it's not gonna move on you, but see it's not straight, it's just like a little bit curved a little bit on the side, but it's pretty, sh she didn't move anywhere. Close this up, now I install back the front cover basil. And you're done. That's how quick it was. Show you guys be the last time the back side. See it's a little bit curved, a little bit like to the side. But the best you can do is uh, the two screws here in the bottom and two in the top. Should be perfectly fine, should work uh, perfectly for gaming via just, because 240 watts kind of small, but uh, 315 will be a little more high efficiency power supply. See you guys, this will be another video. Thanks for watching, bye.